So in essence, what that looks like is while a man might be doing 20 second sprints with a two or three minute recovery, you might be better off doing How should women do high intensity interval training different from men? Well, in order to come to a solid answer with this, we need to explain a little bit about what makes women so different when it comes down to the kinds of muscle they have and the kinds of fuel that they use. So we'll break it all down. I'll give you the biochemistry, I'll give you kind of the differences, we'll talk a little bit about hormones, and then we'll get into what actually happens when we're doing HIT and why women need to do it slightly different. Because spoiler alert, women actually get more out of HIT than men. Let me say that again. Women get a better benefit from high intensity interval training than men do. And it all comes down to the fact that their bodies utilize fat better. So let's talk about this. Hey, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then please do hit that little bell icon. That way you can turn on notifications and never miss our daily videos. And after this video, highly recommend you check out Paleo Valley. So if you like when I talk about apple cider vinegar and all the different benefits of apple cider vinegar, you'll love that Paleo Valley has an apple cider vinegar capsule that is really, really cool. So you can harness a a lot of the benefits of apple cider vinegar in a capsule that's not going to burn your throat. So they're a big supporter of this channel, really awesome products. I've known the owners for a very, very, very long time. They go way back with them. So I do highly recommend that you check them out and check out their apple cider vinegar capsules so you can get some of the benefits of apple cider vinegar that I talk about in all my other videos without having to choke down apple cider vinegar all the time. Anyhow, let's get into the science here. Okay, so women have more of what are called type one muscle fibers. Long story short, type one muscle fibers utilize fat as a fuel source better. There's more mitochondria. Women naturally have more of them. Now, this is known as the endurance muscle. So one would think, well, does that mean that women don't do very well with HIT because they have more of the endurance muscle? Not necessarily. In fact, we'll explain more about that. But what's really interesting is estrogen. You see, women obviously have more estrogen, but did you know that estrogen helps glucose get into a cell better? So because women have more estrogen, they end up having more estrogen receptors. And those estrogen receptors make it so that glucose can get into the cell better. I don't wanna spend a lot of time talking about estrogen because it's not really the purpose of this video. But the cool thing to note, simply put, is that because of the extra estrogen that women have, it does allow the cell to utilize muscle. And fun fact, there was a study that demonstrated that men that were endurance trained ended up developing more estrogen receptors in their muscle. Does that mean that it's bad? Does that mean they have more estrogen? No, it just means they're more sensitive to estrogen floating in the bloodstream. And the only really thing that changes out of that is you utilize glucose more. But anyway, I digress. The real important thing here is that women handle fat better. At any given time, you're generally gonna see about a 40% higher level of free fatty acids in the plasma of women versus men. Fatty acids circulate through the bloodstream more. And it seems to be the case because women's muscle fiber types just have more of an affinity for utilizing fat. As a matter of fact, women have a higher level of what are called intramyocellular triglycerides as well. Intramyocellular triglycerides are fats that are stored inside the muscle fiber itself. Okay, not little bits of adipose tissue inside the muscle, but actually fat inside the fiber ready to go. They have much more so than men, which means that their bodies, their muscles are just ready to rage with fat. Now, the interesting thing is, is that shows that women can utilize fat at a higher intensity than men. Let me put this into just simple things. Okay, when we're doing high intensity interval training, you get to a certain point where you're no longer using fat as a fuel source. Like if you're training at a low intensity, your body uses fat, okay? But as you start to increase your intensity up to about 70% or so, your body starts to utilize glucose and it starts to go through what's called anaerobic glycolysis, where it's like a chemical reaction to create energy. Well, because women's bodies and women's muscles are more accustomed to utilizing fat, they can work at a higher intensity while still utilizing fat. So just to give you kind of a comparison, a hypothetical example, if I have a male and I have a female and that male is pushing it at 70% of their intensity, they're going to start to utilize glucose more so than fat. Okay. That means they're now burning less fat and burning more carbs. Take that same female, and this is purely hypothetical, she might be able to go to 80% of her maximum heart rate and still be using fat before she ever switches over to carbs. So what that means is women can effectively do HIT and hopefully be burning more fat from HIT than men. Whereas men stop burning fat and start burning carbs, women continue to burn more fat. 
So pretty cool, but we have to possibly change the style of hit a little bit. So hear me out. Women are going to be less explosive with their hit. See, that's the thing that men have the advantage of. See, men have the ability to withstand shorter bouts of high intensity stress when it comes down to the central nervous system with exercise. So a male might be able to bust into a sprint at full bore and it's not going to affect their central nervous system too much, whereas a female might get affected a lot more. So a lot less explosivity on the female side. However, they're utilizing fats better. So what does this mean? Well, in a perfect world, this is what high intensity interval training should look like, okay? You should push it to your maximum ability for 15 or 20 seconds, all the way out until you cannot go anymore, just all the way. And then you should recover for however long it takes in order to do your next interval at maximum intensity. So what that means is if I wanted to go sprint for 20 seconds, I would go as hard as I could, fall flat on my face after 20 seconds, and if I have to sit there for four minutes to recover, then so be it. Maybe it's two, maybe it's three, four, five, six, ten, 10, whatever. The point is the interval training is not about the cardiovascular effect, it's more about, at least from the male, the central nervous system effect. But women utilize fat so much better at a higher intensity, it might be slightly, just slightly different for females. Okay, here's an interesting study. This was published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research. Took a look at eight men versus eight women with high intensity interval training. Four minute long bouts. Okay, now that's a long interval and I wouldn't truly consider that true hit training. However, for the case of this study, let's look at it. Four minute intervals with either one, two, or four minute rest. Okay, here's what they found. Men self-selected a higher intensity. What that means is men perceived that they were working at a higher intensity and chose to work at a higher intensity when it came down to selecting the speed or selecting how hard they would work, okay? Women, on the other hand, actually worked harder, quite a bit harder, like six, seven, eight percent in some cases. They actually reached a higher VO2 max. They reached a higher percentage of their max heart rate. They literally worked harder when it came down to the absolute form. And they also are able to utilize fat a little bit better, as we know from other studies. So what does this really mean? Well, it means that women will push it a little bit harder with HIT, but it also means that women probably do better with slightly longer intervals. Okay, the 15, 20 second hardcore sprint that I talked about is great for the male that has a central nervous system that's not going to end up kind of dysfunctional from it. Now, if a woman were to really slam her central nervous system, sure, she'd do fine, but she's not gonna recover at the same rate a male would from that perspective. However, she would recover a lot faster in terms of how the actual muscle recovers. So what she'd wanna do is she'd wanna focus on more like a 90% or an 80% even of your max heart rate and focus a little bit more on the burn, a longer interval burn and a slightly shorter rest because women can recover a little bit faster because they have more mitochondria and more capillary density. That means that they have more capillaries in one consolidated area, more mitochondria in one consolidated area, which means it can take in more oxygen faster and recover faster. So you're gonna burn more fat at a higher intensity. So you're better off to not push it into that super glycolytic mode. You're better off to stay at the high end of your fat burning mode. So in essence, what that looks like is while a man might be doing 20 second sprints with a two or three minute recovery, you might be better off doing 30 seconds at slightly less intensity with maybe a 90 second recovery. And you're gonna get more fat burning effect than your male counterpart in that respect. So anyhow, I hope that this makes sense and it helps tailor a little bit more of your high intensity interval training. Plus, I don't know, it's kind of another feather in the cap of why women ultimately burn fat a little bit better than men. Kind of a cool thing, you should be proud of it. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.